What I'd like to do today is really cover the topic of using risk assessment to become PCI compliant. One of the, if you think about compliance, this is a, uh, it's a, one of the, one of digital dozen require, one of 12 requirements that level four merchants have to maintain to attain their PCI compliance. You'll see this is listed as number 12, but really we, we believe that maybe it should be near the top. So today's webinar is really going to focus on maintaining a policy that addresses information security. Hard to believe, but a recent study of 2011 showed that only 39% of the level four merchants met this requirement in number 12. Security was rated the lowest in terms of compliance percentage. That fact that security policies rank lowest is not a good sign since policy drives PCI practice. Let's take a deeper dive into what the policy entails. Section 12.1.2 talks about establishing, publishing, maintaining, and disseminating a security policy that includes an annual process for identifying threat, threats and vulnerabilities and results in a formal risk assessment. Risk assessment is the topic of our webinar. So what does that entail? First, you have to define the environment. How do you do that? Components, physical security, traffic flow, visibility, virtual and physical hardware are components of the key ones to keep an eye on here. The next thing we want to look at is identifying threats. What threats are, are existent today? An example is an unsecure line used for communication. The third key is identifying vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities aren't limited to technical issues, employees, procedures, monitoring. These are all part of a growing threat. Security policy and supporting procedures provide no value if employees do not understand or know how to implement them. The last area is really evaluating and addressing risk. With everything considered, a risk assessment will determine what additional controls need to be implemented to avoid a PCI compliance breach. ANX likes to take a look at this assessment in two parts. The first step in your PCI compliance is key. A full and formal risk assessment should be the first step in starting a compliance program. Secondly, maintaining compliance is also key. Performing an annual assessment will determine your current status as well as ensure you are maintaining compliance. Use your annual assessment in any way of life or business. It's not coming up with a week, let's fix everything and ignore what we've done in the past sort of thing. We'll find that some organizations before them, two or, before them, two or four times a year. This allows organizations to keep up to date not only with evolving threats, trends, and technologies, but also changes within their organizations, including employee changes and training. So why is a risk assessment so important? Risk assessment will determine what you have and what you need. Think of it as an audit. An audit is an official examination and verification. While an audit is related to most, most financial accounts, a risk assessment is an audit of your PCI compliance. A risk assessment will determine what you have and what you need, if you are up to date, and what to do if you are not. At the end, you will give yourself and others, such as your acquiring bank, the necessary evidence to demonstrate that you are in compliance with the PCI data security standard. Lack of attention to performing a risk assessment brings about the term check yourself before you wreck yourself. This may seem trite, like a trite song lyric, but it's sage advice for security and compliance programs. Let's take a look at using a risk assessment to become PCI compliant. There are four key elements to a risk assessment. First, define the environment. The components, the physical security, site details, traffic flow, component visibility, virtual hardware components, physical hardware components are all elements that need to be assessed in this environment. Second 
key item is to identify threats. One example is the new types of malicious codes or logical attacks that are targeting virtual components. Another is discovering unsecured communication channels between shared hardware components. When a store manager, as an example, is at his or her franchise, the communication is secure. But let's say it's a weekend and the manager's at home working on sales for the week. Is the communication secure coming in from the home? The next step is to identify vulnerabilities. While PCI DSS acknowledges vulnerabilities may result from the complexity of virtualization layers, shared environments and lack of visibility also point out that vulnerabilities are not limited to technical issues. We talk a lot about this in our last two webinars, if you were with us. We talked about not properly trained staff, operational procedure errors, lack of control monitoring, and more can be responsible for a point of weaknesses. We find that people understand things like installing a proper firewall, but it can be rendered useless because it's not properly configured, sometimes lacking someone changing a default password or setup configuration. The last thing we'd like to address is evaluating and assessing risk. With all threats, vulnerabilities and environment aspects considered, a risk assessment's ultimate goal is to determine if any additional controls above what you already have in place need to be implemented. You should now know what you have, what you need, and begin to take steps to get to that point to identify any gaps. Most of you on the call are level four merchants. What is a level four merchant? Well, according to the PCI DSS, a level four merchant is someone that processes less than 20,000 e-commerce transactions and less than 1 million total transactions in a year. Although level four merchants are smaller and process fewer number of transactions with credit cards, they are by far the top target of the, the cyber criminals today. In fact, 90% of security breaches occur at the level four value, the level four level. These criminals are targeting those locations that are most likely to be unprepared and have holes in their systems. We found that most level four merchants don't have dedicated IT staff, therefore it's easier for cyber criminals to penetrate your environment and drop malicious malware into your system. Let's look back at the requirements once again. And we notice that we're discussing item number 12. How can we know what we have in place for items 1 through 11 without first performing number 12? The answer is we can't. You'll see that the other 11 are very important with PCI compliance. And each of these need to be, each of these requirements need to met, do you need to be met for you to attain and achieve PCI compliance. But we really want to focus on number 12, which is really the risk assessment. Therefore, we're moving number 12 to number one. Let's go back to that number of 39%. Consider how low that truly number truly is. Now that we know that a risk assessment is considered a milestone and a milestone number one, the fact that only 39% of the level four merchants meet this requirement really sets the stage for the reason that they're such a target by cyber criminals. What do organizations typically do first? Install a firewall, right? Installing and implementing a firewall actually ranges between milestone two and six. How can you install a firewall when you don't know what else you have? Why is risk assessment milestone one? A risk assessment is documented is, is a documentation that's required to become compliant. Since it's so low, listed at milestone 12, it concludes that organizations are implementing policies and procedures that are in incomplete and doing so without first performing a risk assessment. Policy statements and related procedures should be specifically should specifically address threats and vulnerabilities identified in this risk assessment. 
So let's determine how do you conduct a risk assessment. PCI DSS is made up of over 200 requirements, which in return can generate thousands of mandatory compliance tasks, not only to achieve, but to maintain. Imagine if you had to attack this process manually. Imagine the effort and the cost. So let me pull out my pen, and let's start really looking at what's required to achieve and maintain PCI DSS. First, you want to identify and track regulations and internal standards that apply to your organization. Second, create an, an organized framework from these regulations and standards and apply it to organizational entities, business processes, and assets. Third, develop, document, and communicate appropriate policies, procedures, and standards which are in alignment with the organizational control framework. Next, perform assessments and audits to identify control deficiencies. Number five, prioritize deficiencies based on a consistent risk methodology. And number six, manage remediation activity and chart progress to the organizational objectives of PCI compliance. So what can ANX do for me? This is all very complicated for an enterprise business, let alone a level four merchant. So what ANX has, has come up with is we've designed a total solution to meet your needs on a month, low monthly rate. This rate includes 24 by seven by 365 monitoring. PCI compliance is an everyday thing. So these services that we spoke of today basically handle it for you. Yes, you have to do some work yourself, but all the setup and technical upkeep is taken care of by ANX. Let's talk about exactly the solution set that ANX offers to help you become PCI compliant. We offer a robust, robust set of compliance and security services designed to reduce your time, resources, and money in addressing your compliance. There are really three core elements of our solution. The first is true PCI. This allows you to determine your current compliance in the solutions you may have in place today. This step is what we like to consider the PCI protection and validation. The next step is the Secure Cloud Gateway. This is a solution for businesses with multiple locations, allowing the communication of data that is protected against hackers with no hardware and is built at a low rate. The Secure Cloud Gateway is really a fully managed firewall, but the difference between Secure Cloud Gateway and a standard firewall is this firewall was made specifically to address the PCI requirements and to make sure that you can achieve and maintain PCI compliance. Our box is much smarter than a standard firewall in that it's continually polling your physical network and gathering information that will be required and asked of you as part of a self-assessment questionnaire that has to be filled out to maintain compliance. The last of the three elements of the ANX solution is Positive Pro, our remote access solution. One of the primary areas that customers have reached today is through remote access. If customers use a simple tool that is not secure and doesn't require two-factor authentication, it's very simple for a cyber criminal to penetrate your network. The great thing about Positive Pro with our two-factor authentication is it, ha it, it requires both credentials to log in and something that you have, in this case, the cell phone. Our Positive Pro not only gives you secure remote access, but it will also monitor your, your connection throughout the, throughout the period so that if you happen to pick up any malware during your remote session, it will identify it and quarantine that session. The three together that are provided by ANX really provide you with a comprehensive portfolio to help you achieve and maintain PCI compliance. Let's review 
just one more time the details of each of the sections. First, the true PCI. So the true PCI allows you to validate what you have in place today. It will identify and track regulations, create an organized framework, develop policies, perform assessments, help you identify deficiencies, and then work to remediate those, those areas of risk. This is a critical first step because many of the level four merchants that we deal with really believe that they are truly PCI compliant. In fact, we've not found a single level four merchant that we've dealt with to date that's met the full requirements of PCI, requ of PCI compliance. This is a great first step to validate to determine really if you are compliant and if you're not compliant to identify any of the gaps or deficiencies and build a roadmap for you to identify a way to earn PCI compliance. So take a look at all the, the, the full complement of ANX solutions that are available to you. All of these are available as part of a bundled solution with one low monthly for affordable monthly charge. So that wraps up the core part of the of this, of this webinar. What we'd like to do now is move on to another opportunity for you to win a $5 Starbucks card. Thank you, Paul. You're the winner for that. And the winner was Magnum PI. Paul was the winner. What we'd like to do now is open the floor to any specific questions that you've got uh, that were tied around PCI and or anything that was covered today. We're also going to be doing a drawing once the question and answer period comes to a conclusion for the $50 Amazon gift certificate. Remember, we're also going to draw for a Kindle Fire today, and we'll announce that winner on our Facebook site. So with that, we'll take any questions that you might have. Um, we have a question, is how much of this is automated? Good question. So the question is how much of this is automated? The thing that you'll find about PCI compliance is the first thing is it's a shared risk. So even though ANX has got solutions that are very automated, there are still requirements for the level four merchant to do some work on your part. What we try to do is try to, to automate as much as possible and try to take some very technical requirements and break them down into layman's terms so you can, you can un better understand the terms. Of the requirements, there are really three or four core requirements for you. The e-learning, which is a requirement, is fully automated. So in that case, it's very easy. You get a login for you to go in. It's a fully interactive, automated process for you to meet the e-learning requirements. For the policy management, these are policies that need to be created. We give you automated templates that are easy to fill in the blank. The third one is a self-assessment questionnaire. This is an automated process that walks you through a series of questions depending on your environment but there is some very manual processes that go on there for you to answer those questions. And then the fourth requirement is the quarterly external scan of the network. Once we determine the IP address, that is a fully automated process under the ANX solution. Okay, and then we have another one. Um, is Are you able to talk pricing? Sure, we can talk pricing. So depending on the needs, ANX offers a full complement of solutions. What we like to do with level four merchants is really start on the, at the beginning. So step one is protection and validation. For as little as a dollar a day, $30 a month, we can offer a basic PCI protection and validation program. What you get with this is $100,000 of data breach protection. So if you're, if you're a level four merchant, if you're breached while you're a customer of this program, the ANX program will, will help reimburse you for up to $100,000 for the cost of a forensic audit, the cost for any kind of credit or debit card replacement, the cost for any fees or fines associated with the breach, and up to 10 hours of remediation provided by ANX. Also for that dollar a day, you're going to get access to our award-winning 
PCI portal. That PCI portal will give you access to e-learning, the required self-assessment questionnaire, provide the quarterly scans, and the policy templates. That's really our step one. That's to protect and validate. When you look at a fully compliant solution, then it depends on the term of the agreement, but our fully compliant solution runs anywhere between $99 a month and $119 a month based upon the environment. That will also include the data breach protection package, the PCI portal, our secure cloud gateway, which is a stateful inspection firewall with unified threat management, as well as our secure remote access with two-factor authentication. Great. And then we had another one come in that said, uh, my merchant bank has a program. How are you different? So I'd like to get more on that question, so I'm going to have to read into the question a little bit. One of the greatest challenges we have with level four merchants is misinformation and merchants that are ill-advised. It is the merchant's responsibility to be PCI compliant. So even though your point of sale vendor may offer a point of sale solution that's PCI compliant, that does not make you PCI compliant. We are not aware of any low or any merchant banks that offer PCI compliance programs. So I'd be very surprised if your merchant bank is offering a program to help you gain compliance or if your merchant bank is offering you a program to protect and validate your compliance. We're unaware of any merchant banks or any vendors that are offering solutions similar to the one we spoke of today. Okay. We have another one. It, um, are you able to do this process for me? The scanning, I don't know if I ever have time to do this. How do, can you help? Well, as I mentioned before, unfortunately, it's a joint program. ANX nor any other vendor can do all of this for you. So, first of all, you've got to make sure to do this program, you have to find a partner like ANX that's what they call a QSA, a Qualified Security Assessor. If you go to the PCI site, you'll see that ANX is listed as a Qualified Security Assessor. Um, we can't do this for you, unfortunately. We can do this, we can do a lot of this work with your assistance, but we have to have access to your network, we have to have access to you or someone on your, uh, that understands your IT environment. Great. All right, and I just opened it up. If anyone else has any other questions, um, we'd be happy to answer them. In the meantime, um, we can do the drawing for the Amazon gift card. And so if we randomly select the winner. Drum roll. Yes, please, drum roll. And the winner is Brian B. So Brian will contact you off offline to get your contact information. Congratulations, and later today we'll be also doing the drawing for the Kindle Fire from all three webinars that we posted for February. And we will now set winner on Facebook and contact them via email. Congratulations, Brian B. Yes. Uh, just in closing, if there are no additional questions, first you've got my email here, which is waynem at anx.com. The number that I'm showing here, 248-447-4050, is a direct line into my office. So if you've got specific questions about PCI compliance or about our solutions, feel free to call me on that line. We'd love to find a way to help you protect your investment. Uh, this, is a, this is a very serious problem that we've seen in the level four merchant space. And what we're trying to do is one, first of all, educate you of the problems associated with data compromise and the impact it could have to your business, to your brand, and to your customers. The second stage that we're trying to do is trying to protect and validate your compliance. And then thirdly, the ultimate goal is to help you achieve and maintain compliance. Uh, if you choose to work with ANX, we'd love to have you as a customer, but, but first of all and foremost, just take some sort of action to protect your business, your brand, and your customers. Thanks, we appreciate your time and look forward to working with you. Thank you.